Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you the major themes of this week and then please stay with me. I'll dive deep to give you your detailed zodiac forecast for each of the 12 signs. Now this week's most glorious influence goes between Venus in Sagittarius and Jupiter, the ruler of Sagittarius, in the friendly sign of Aquarius. Now this combination could see some kind of gathering, a reunion, uh, it may be some travel plans with a larger group of people, and all these things can provide a lot of uplift. It's also possible that somebody could enter your circle or someone who's been a friend for some while start to creep up on your senses in terms of a romantic possibility. But Venus in the sign of Sagittarius is a truth seeker. Jupiter in, in Aquarius is thinking about the wider needs of people. So it would hardly be a surprise if the person that you were chatting to either socially or perhaps even in terms of romance with someone who's a bit different, a bit more unique. Certain, certainly somebody who could be a bit of a free spirit. But if you are wanting something more devotional, the fact that Neptune, the planet of dreams, squares with Venus creates a little bit of uncertainty. That aspect can see us be tempted to put someone on a pedestal. And that's something we should try to avoid this week. However much the good vibes are there, there are some more cautionary energies that I need to tell you about. Not least, the Sun is challenged by the stern restrictive energies of Saturn. Now Saturn is in the sector of the group, Aquarius, no longer in retrograde, which is to be uh, celebrated, but the Sun is finding its way in the sign of Scorpio, which is very much to do with deep commitment and devotion. So if you're wanting that in a relationship and you get to know someone that you find very attractive, but for them it's more of a fleeting experience, that could be quite hurtful. So just be conscious of the reality of where you might be coming from in terms of your expectations and where somebody else may also be coming from from theirs. Also Mars in the sign of relating. Libra, where it's afflicted, is in a square with Pluto. Now this is an aspect of force and drive and desire, but it's not one that's so much to do with gently talking things over. It's quite raw, it's quite visceral, it wants its reward, it's a desire-led planet, Mars, and therefore it's to do with instant gratification. So however much someone may be relating, their desire and ambition around that relationship or that situation can be quite unbridled. Just be aware that by the end of the week, Mars does move into the sign of Scorpio, which it governs and will be there through to the second week of December. And that is going to be very helpful in a way because being in its dignity will help it to strut its stuff much better than it has in the sign of Libra, where it's in detriment. So just be conscious of that. But of course, Mars in Scorpio brings that desire uh, element of our nature even more strongly to the fore. But the quarter moon on Thursday in Leo suggests a little bit of um, jealousy could be washing around this week. It's not going to be a walk in the park week, but there is those glorious aspects. You know, Neptune, Square and Venus can still be very, very good as long as we keep one toe on terra firma. But that link between Venus and Jupiter is really, really beautiful. I think we just need to make sure that whatever our expectations are, we keep the reality very much to the forefront of our thinking. And that way we can make the most of this week. But please stay with me for your deep dive video. But if you are new to my channel, I would be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And remember, you can get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning by clicking on the link beneath this video and subscribing. Or if you'd like to get your year 2022 personal horoscope, the year is rush, rushing up towards us. You can order it now, get the rest of this year free, plus 30% off and a character analysis. Please to do see the link beneath this video. 
Hello Pisces and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 25th of October. Now the sun of course is now finding its way in your sector of adventure, of independence, of spontaneity, of variety. So a gorgeous location and of course it's in your sister water sign of Scorpio. And the most fab news to tell you is that the sun is joined on Sunday at the end of this week by Mars. And Mars is the planet of passion and action and instant gratification. So in your ninth house for the following six weeks from the end of this week is going to give you a glorious opportunity to break out, be much more freer in your approach and I think almost certain to do some travelling. So what's not to like? It's just that the twelfth house, Saturn, and the sixth house, the quarter moon, are emphasizing both your psychological situation and also your physical, uh, your physical availability, your strength, your energy. And one thing I would say to you this week, don't be too quick to be too self-sacrificing because it's something you have a natural gift for. You often put other people first and this is one of the most beautiful parts of your nature. But there is a point of no return, the Rubicon, when if you go beyond this, it just becomes a very resentful thing for you to give so much to others. So you do need to feel appreciated, but you also need to have your own space and time to breathe. And I think that's what this week's influences are reminding you to do. Having said that, with Venus high in the sky, forging a beautiful link to Jupiter, a conversation behind the scenes, or someone you're not even aware of, can really be in your corner in such an amazing way. And something could be fomenting behind those scenes, which is going to work its way into your situation in a very magical way. Then again, someone could send you some flowers or a gift or a thank you card and just remind you how much you're appreciated. But if you do have an opportunity to break free of constraints, obligations and responsibilities, surely try to do so, and particularly by the end of this week. Thank you.